Welcome back, you guys. This is Riley here with Learn With Me, and uh, we got another plant profile here, but this time we got one on a succulent that is called a uh, Persian carpet flower. The scientific name for this succulent is Edith Colia grandis. The succulent itself is native to the Arabian Peninsula and Eastern Africa, and it is a member of the milkweed family and part of the dogbane family, Apocynaceae. These plants crave bright sunlight and need at least some direct sunlight during the day to promote flowering. While they prefer warmer temperatures, it is important not to let the temperatures that they're in go below 55 to 65 degrees Fahrenheit as they hate cold weather and they should be kept in a warm, humid environment. Just for a little information about this plant, I have owned mine for about five or six years and I harvested it from like a little small cutting that was not even as big as these that you see sticking out. If you plan to own one of these plants, it's important to supply the plant with well-draining soil that has excellent drainage since the roots are shallow. Make sure that the soil is a healthy mixture of vermiculite and soil to make sure that it's properly aerated for this plant. And after a year or two, it, it really did not change much. The thing that makes my experience with this plant very interesting is, like I said, for a year or two, it didn't get past two inches of height. And then after that second year, it exploded. And that's what you see a lot of these shots from. It's just how it exploded after that year or two. And it just kept producing from there. As always, guys, if you would like to know more information about these types of plants, I always suggest doing more research on your own. And let me know if you have any problems or suggestions or questions about anything I have to say as well. Not only this, but I will do my best to include as much information as possible in the video description. And if I don't include it there, please let me know what I left off. That being said, all the stuff that I discussed in this video will be supported and included in the description. And like I said, if you do not see anything there, please let me know and I will try to go back and include it. One thing to note for pet owners is that this plant can become toxic if ingested by your pets. The hardiness zone for this plant is going to be in zones 10 and 11. It enjoys full sun and a little, a little bit of shade. And its mature size is about 11 inches tall, maybe even 2 inches wide at the most. When it comes to the flowers, they typically bloom in the spring. With this being said, the flowers typically are one of the more desirable portions of the plant, ironically enough. The reason I say that it is ironic is due to the fact that the flowers themselves are quite interesting looking, but they give off a smell of rotting flesh as that is the main way to get the pollinators to show up and uh, pollinate the plant. Common pollinators for this plant include flies and beetles. Another thing to note about this plant is that it typically desires rocky desert gardens and uh, desires container planting as well. No matter how you feel about this plant, I just want to let you guys know that it's a fairly easy plant to grow and I highly recommend that you grow it. So if you guys have any suggestions or anything or have any recommendations, feel free to leave them in the comments and just reach out to me. That being said, you guys have a fantastic rest of your week and I will catch you guys in the next one. Stay breezy.